today I am getting my hair cut. I love my hair. Share hair has always been like a, a goal of mine. I feel like I have accomplished and had share hair many times, but it just gets to a point where I just feel like I have a sheet of hair and I don't really do anything with it and anything I want to do with it is made harder by the fact I've got so much hair. I don't know for sure what the plan is. I'm gonna to talk to the guy when I'm there, see what he thinks. I know what I would like, but I don't know. Stop me from asking him to just cut my block fringe back in, please. <laughs> I miss a fringe so much. So I'm thinking about asking him like, do you think I could pull off curtain fringes? Like this is the fringe I've got going on at the minute baby regrowth. This is unimportant but I thought I would document because we've seen my hair go through a lot of things haven't we <laughs> together. So this is before I'm standing on tiptoes. So this is like my belly button's here, my waist is here. So it's past my waist just and it was a bit longer than that. Cousin it. My mum always used to call me cousin it when I was young because I had hair probably even longer than this when I was young actually. Um, especially like my hair to body ratio when I was shorter, when I was a smaller person, I had hair down to my butt. I'm just appreciating it and enjoying it in case we do something drastic like come out the pixie cut. Yeah, yeah, we've totally rearranged the back of the living room so um, Tucker's literally is upstairs now. Um, and uh, We've slowly been getting rid of you. haven't seen you for a while, so when do you think we'll get to see you? Um. <laughs> oh my god. It feels so light and there's so much more volume in it, and it's going to be so much quicker to wash and dry, so much cheaper to wash as well. I, it costs a lot to have hair as long as I did. I was going through shampoo and conditioner like nobody's business. This is the first time I've been to this hairstylist. We actually spoke about my lifestyle and what I'm doing with my hair like day to day and my face shape and my dress style. That was really helpful because he kind of helped me realize, I guess I don't, as much as I feel like I miss my block fringe, it doesn't really suit everything else about my style now. This was the next best thing. And yeah, I love it, it's great. He did curl it before I left, but of course the curls were already gone because my hair hates keeping a curl. So it's pretty much straight. <laughs> also, it's very windy out today, so I was like under my brolly trying to keep my hair looking slightly fabulous to show Alex. And like, <laughs> if you can hear Mr. Tumble in the background, that's because Mr. Tumble's in playing in the background. <laughs> um, I put some rollers in my hair last night. I put them in in the dark and a bunch of them fell out during the night. So this is not like a good, <laughs> a good uh, job at all. But even terribly done, this feels so nice. <laughs> and it feels so fluffy and light. My dream hair is like big, fluffy, curly, housewife kind of hair. <laughs> I love volume in my hair and like poofiness, but it's so hard to achieve when you've got just a big sheet of heavy straight hair. It's strange because last time I had hair this length, I feel like it was when I was um, relaunching Little Doe. And now I'm getting ready again soon to take some new product photos of, of clothing and stuff. So I'm going to look like I'm right back there again. <laughs> Thanks for helping me with the washing. Very helpful. Mm. Mm. Can you say mama? Mama. <laughs> mama? Can you say mama? Mama. Clever girl. Can you say no, 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 no? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah.
She likes just playing with cloth and stuff. Yeah, she loves just playing with piles of clothes. The weather is suddenly absolutely beautiful. It's been like this for one day and already everyone I know is complaining about it and saying it's too hot. It is like bordering on uncomfortable. It's four o'clock now, so the worst of the heat's over. So we're gonna pack up a little picnic and go eat outside somewhere. I'm so excited. I would do this every day, but Alex is not as much of an outdoorsy kind of person as me. But he's into the idea today, so I'm taking full advantage of it and soaking it up. I'm gonna wash up some strawberries for us and for baby. I'm gonna take her corn on the cob to nibble on. And we're gonna take some hummus and crisps and apple juice, I think. Lana, it's your first birthday. I can't believe you're one. It's absolutely mad. You've changed my life completely. I can't really relate much to who I was before you. <laughs> my days looked so different. I had more time for long, luxurious bubble baths and to sit around painting and drawing and doing all these different things for me. And I'm not gonna lie, I've missed them sometimes over the last year, but I know this is such a short period of time that I get to spend with you while you're so tiny. You're looking at me right now and you're so cute. What, what are you doing? Mama, mama, mama. Mama? <laughs> I find it mad that I'm allowed to have you. I know, I know you're not mine, but you're my responsibility. You're my little soul to nurture and to take care of. And I look at you and I can't believe that I grew you. I birthed you and I fed you and grown you and you're banging something around. <laughs> you might hear some clanging in the background because you're, you're banging some vases together. Something that becoming a mum changed for me that I didn't anticipate was I'm no longer afraid of death. I know this sounds quite dark, but bear with me. I'm not afraid of dying myself, the process of dying, what happens after I die. Compared to the thought of anything happening to you, I'll die, I'm fine with that. But that's been replaced with the fear of death because I'm afraid of leaving you. I can't imagine. Lee, oh, I feel emotional talking about it. I can't imagine leaving you. <laughs> I can't imagine, I don't want to imagine a day where I'm not there to take care of you. Even in little ways, if you need a tenner, if you're running low on money, if you need some advice or you need picking up. But one day, if I'm lucky enough, you will outlive me and I won't be there for you anymore. So the fear of that has given me this push to make sure that you are a strong woman and you know your own power and you know I'll always be there for you, but you're not afraid of the day when I'm not. I hope one day you'll have siblings and friends and you'll all be there to take care of each other. I hope most of all that you find this feeling that you've given me where you're just so grateful to get your time in the sun and to get to experience what you're experiencing, that it takes away that fear of it ending. And you've just pushed a button on a noisy book, so you might hear, you might hear some music in the background. I can't not see everyone as babies. Every single person walking around, I feel like I'm their mum and I'm seeing my grown up baby walking around. I used to be a true crime fanatic. I would listen to true crime podcasts every single day and every single night and watch every true crime 
murder documentary I could find. I can't watch them or listen to them anymore. I have occasionally, but often I turn them off halfway through because everyone is a baby to me. And in a way, everyone is my baby. I'm, you've made me a mum and I'm your mum, but I am a mum. And I feel that kind of motherly spirit to everything and everyone now, and I can't turn it off. It sounds really beautiful and nice, but it's actually kind of overwhelming sometimes. So, yeah, you've ruined true crime for me. Thank you. I just love you so, so much. And so does Daddy. He is obsessed with you. You're his little light. We love you all the world, Lana. Love from Mum and Dad. It's been really, it's been really hot, and I washed my hair and tied it up before it had fully dried. So it's kind of like I'm filming this end part of the video while Lana's asleep up in bed. I just booped her to sleep and rolled away, and Alex is lying next to her right now. And I've just come down here to film this really quick. I hope that wasn't too heavy. That little keepsake video that I included. I'm planning to make them every year for. All my children hopefully it was just my honest like spur of the moment thoughts i didn't plan it i just sat down and recorded some audio with my phone while she was toddling around and said whatever came to mind her birthday was two days ago today we got some fantastic news alex has found himself a full-time permanent job yeah he's been trying so hard he has had so many interviews lately and we've applied for so many jobs that we lose track of what we've applied for, when people ring up, we're like, which job is this again? And it really takes it out of you being rejected so much, you know, and it's really hard not to take it personally and to start thinking, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Before this, he had got every job he'd gone for an interview for, so we were kind of cocky in the beginning when he was made redundant. We thought, oh, it'll be fine. He'll get something else. And it's been a year. Um, you know, part of that year, yeah, we weren't both completely 100% on top of the job hunting game because Alex's father passed away, I gave birth, there has been a lot going on. But we've been trying the whole time. It's just a mad time right now and there's suddenly so many people competing for the same jobs but bless him, he stuck with it, he kept trying and he's got himself a job. So I'm gonna be solo parenting by the end of the month which is terrifying. Because so far, like, he's helped me a lot managing to run my business and do stuff with babies, so... Yeah. I'm hesitant to announce things like this because I'm terrible at sticking to things I say I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to try and do monthly scrapbook vlogs again. Like this. Give me a thumbs up if you would like that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll speak to you again soon. A massive shout out and thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. I don't have Alex and Lana here to spice it up this time because they are both up in the bedroom, chilling. A massive thank you to Heather Lilly and Laura M, to Willowy Wings, Jessica Bulldog and Hannah Robinson, to Danielle Weatherall and Lauren Erica, and to Emma Outland, Brandy Wine and Milda. Thank you all so, so much. Thank you.